kid from Sparky Gaming. And today we are going to review all of the wizard cards that we have. Because we have Morgan Le Fay, Medieval, Dates Unknown, King Arthur's Half Sister, Dark Sorceress, and we have Merlin. Le Queen Maeve, Legendary Witch who trained young sorcerers in Ireland to prior to the establishment of Hogwarts School, which we have to must be. Ignatia Willsmith. 12, 27 to 1320. The witch who invented flu powder. Ooh. Beatrix Blossom. Her, well, basically, her books made everyone vomit. And her series has been banned. That's sad. 1794 to 1810. Gunhilda of Gorsmore. One eyed humpback witch famous for developing a cure for dragon fox. 1556 to 1639. Wizards, Merlin, Medieval Days Unknown, Mist most, famous, most Famous Wizard of All Time, sometimes known as the Prince of Enchanters, part of the court of King Arthur. Glenmore Peaks, 1677-1761, Famous Slayer of the Sea Serpent of Cromer. Herb of the Fowl, Ancient Greek, first known creator of the Basilisk. Edgar Stroger, 1703-1798, inventor of the Sneakoscope. Albus Dumbledore, I knew that it was going to be that. Vampires. Lady Carmilla Sanguina, I think I said that right. 1561-1757, bathed in the blood of her victims to obtain her youthful beauty. Armillo Lestote. 1776 to 1977, flamboyant American vampire, author of A Vampire's Monologue, intended to pour the rear into stupor, making him slash her easier prey for vampires. Oops. Sir Herbert Varney, 1858 to 1859 to 1889, lived short-lived by Undead Sanders, Victorian vampire who preyed upon women in London during the 1880s, was subsequently captured and killed by a special squad from the Department of Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures. Uh, Bloodwind Blood, 1923, to question mark. So probably not dead yet. Known as the Vampire from the Valleys, famous for singing to his victims in sonorous bass baritone before biting his their next. Clown, Count Valad Dracula, in 1390, so not dead yet. Notorious vampire who inspired the fictional Count Dracula created by Bram Stoker. Father of Vlad Impaler. Goblins. Irrigate the Ugly, Goblin representative. 14th century summit of Wizard Council. Of Olaf the Awful, foul smelling goblin New Zanes. Well known drop goblin world for trying to sell vials of his sweat to dung bomb manufacturer. Og the Unreliable, notorious goblin confidence trickster. Organized the infamous demi guys derby and absconded with the talking. Rebel, um, Erg the Unclean, rebel leader in the 18th century Goblin Rebellions. Green God, founder of Green God's Wizard Bank. Hacks. Baby Yaga, <laughs> Baba Yaga, medieval dates unknown. Russian hag who dwelled in a hut that stood on a giant chicken's leg. Eight children for breakfast and presumably for lunch and tea. Maldora Grimm, medieval dates unknown, using a beautification potion to conceal her true hag form. She married a came and used a charm mirror to reinforce her self-image. Became jealous of the most beautiful girl in the land and fed her a poison apple. Hmm, <laughs> that sounds like the Snow White story. Leticia Somnolens, medieval dates unknown. 
The spiteful hag was jealous of the king's daughter and caused her to prick her finger on a spindle tainted with draught of the living death. The young wizard, who had smeared his lips with wig oil, pushed and kissed the princess and brought her out of her trance. So, Sleeping Beauty, what's this one? We don't know what this one is. Uh, Old Mother Hubbard. Medieval days and lured stray animals into her home and starved them to death. Okay. Okay, so she's kind of like, um, the Wicked Witch from, uh, Hansel and Gretel, but with the animals instead. Twelve Night Cordelia Misericordia. Uh, 1298 to 1401, Hag representative at the 14th Century Summit of Wizards Council. Giants. Bran the Bloodthirsty. Medieval dates unknown. Lived, lived in a castle on top of an enchanted beanstalk, apparently fond of eating bread made with ground bones and washed down the blood of an Englishman was slain by a boy named Jack. So can't control one up the hill, blah, 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 blah. Cyclops, ancient Greece, dates unknown. A one-eyed giant who lived in a cave at the foot of Mount Etina, Etna. With the help of several sheep, he was slain by the Greek hero, Odysseus. Odysseus, I don't know. Odysseus, yeah. Goliath, biblical dates unknown. Mercenary giant used by the Philistines in their war with Israelites. Was slain by a young boy with a slingshot. More whole ancient Celtic dates unknown. Um, gigantic brother of the King of Ireland. Wounded Tristan, Celtic hero with a poison sword. With when the latter tried to kill him. Hengist of Upper Barton. 15th century giant killed by the most famous giant slayer, Gifford Ullerton. Dragons. Common Welsh Green Dragon. The breed is the m among the least troublesome of dragons and if it actively avoids humans unless provoked. Fire is issued in thin jets. Hibberdeen Black Dragon. Britain's other native dragon is more aggressive than its Welsh counterpart and feeds mostly on deer, though it has been known to carry off large dogs. Hungarian Horntail Dragon. The dragon that Harry chose in the fourth film. Supposedly the most dangerous of all dragon breeds. The Hungarian horn tail can breathe fire up to 50 feet. That does not look like it was in the movie. Romanian longhorn dragon. The horns of this breed of dragon are highly valued as Polish and green sin. As a result, its numbers have fallen in recent years. So it's an endangered species. Norwegian Ridgeback Dragon. The Ridgeback is nowadays one of the rarer dragon breeds and has known to attack most kinds of large land mammal. Beasts. Imp. Found only in Britain and Ireland, the imp has a slapstick sense of humor and will amuse itself by pushing and tripping the unwary. Those pieces of crap in the second game. Doxy, sometimes mistaken for a fairy, nests in bushes and its approach will attempt to bite it with double rows of sharp venomous teeth. Ugh, that looks more unsettling than in the game. Bow truckle, a tree garden adept at dodging most kinds of terms, may attempt to gouge out your eyes if you approach its tree home in a threatening manner. Billywig has a long thin sting that causes giddiness, followed by levitation. Dried billywig stings are used in a variety of potions. Gnome, a common garden pest. The gnome lurks in holes in the ground and may run out and attempt to trip up the unwary traveler. 
can be ejected from the garden by swinging it in circles and flinging it over the garden wall. Classical beasts, the giant squid, the bane of ancient mariners and students at Hogwarts. Should the latter decide to go in for a clip in the lake? Dip in the lake, sorry. A rare manticore, a rare dangerous beast. The manticore has been known to sing softly as it eats prey. Its sting will kill instantaneously. The unicorn. The unicorn is a shy creature and generally avoids human contact. It is more likely to let a witch come near it than a wizard, and casting magic spells may frighten it off. It's what has highly magical properties. Beautiful. Mountain troll frequents, frequents mountainous regions. Very powerful but stupid. The troll will attempt to bludgeon anyone who comes near it. Phoenix, a gentle creature. Phoenix lives in an immense age because it can regenerate each time it bursts into flames. Phoenix song is magical and its tears have healing properties. Then we have final one, Quidditch. Cyprian Yowl Duel, 1312 to 1357. Only Quidditch referee ever to be killed during a match. The originator of the curse was never caught, but believed to be a member of the crowd. 1911 to present, Jocelyn Wadcock. Chaser for Puddle Mirror, United Quidditch team. Record for the highest number of goals during the British season this century against Bailey Castle Bats, 1931. Leopoldina Smithwick, 1829 to 1910. First British wish to referee a Quidditch match. Roderick Plumpton, seeker for England Quidditch team, holds British record for fastest captain snitch during the game, three and a half seconds, 1889 to 1987. Barbarius Braga introduced the golden snidget in Quidditch in 1269, changing the face of the game forever. And there we have it. So those are all the wish cards. Hmm. Yeah, let me see. Uh, where is it? Okay, so uh Okay, so I don't see any videos that say that the big card on the left that you see is actually a wizard card. Most likely in the PC game, when you get all the cards, I think the final golden card would be James Potter. But that's not the case. So, yeah. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you in another video. Bye. Do not goodbye because we still have to read all the pages in the folder book. We have the Dementor. The gods of Azkaban in prison. Dementors are the most always the foulest creatures to walk the earth. Billy Wigs are partially difficult to catch. Dried Billy Wigs are used as ingredients to certain potions. Purples. Purples are parasites that are attracted to magic. Their car their their carapaces are used as ingredients and certain potions that are particularly difficult to split up split open. Doxies. Doxies have double rows of sharp venomous teeth and the antidote should be taken if bitten. Toasted dragonflies. Doraxes are Toasted dragon thoraxes are an essential ingredient in potions. 
fairy, a small and decorative beast of little intelligence. They have a quarrelsome nature and are excessively vain. Fire seed blush. Fire seeds are used in certain potions. It's advised that to make sure the fire seeds are on the bushes that bear them, thoroughly extinguished before picking. Flying seahorse. Flying seahorses can be caught with carved and retractor men. Are used as an ingredient in certain potions. A ghoul. A ghoul, although ugly, is not a particularly dangerous creature. It moans and occasionally throws objects around, but it's essentially simple minded and harmless. Hinky Punk. Hinky Punk is a little one legged creature and looks as if it is made of smoke. It carries a lantern which with it lures travelers into bogs. Hippogriff. Eye contact should be maintained when approaching a hippogriff, being shield good intentions. If the hippogriff returns the greeting, it is safe to draw closer. Pixie. Pixie delight in practical jokes of all descriptions. They have been a known they have been known to seize ungrown humans by the ears and apply to them at the top of tall trees and buildings. Red cap. The dwarf least dwarf like creatures live in holes on old ladder grounds or wherever human blood has been spilled. Yeah. Although easily repelled by charms and hexes, they're still dangerous. Salamander. The salamander is a the salamander is a fire dwelling lizard that feeds on flame. Salamanders only live as long as the fire from which they emerge burns. The troll is a fearsome creature, twelve feet tall and weighable and weighing over a ton. Notable for its equal prodigious strength and stupidity, trolls are particularly attracted to unpleasant smells. Venomous tentacula. It is recommended that only the very experienced attempt to approach a fully grown venomous tentacula. The, their jaws are particularly strong and can easily break apart powerful carapaces. And that's all the pages. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.